There is a 1945 report that the SS Department D4 decided to make this journey. This would have been a one-way trip unless they received help along the way or at the other end of the journey. In this latter part of the war, the level of desperation was sufficient to try anything that could change the fate of Germany. The Honeywood 3 was supposed to reach Mars in eight and a half months, in January 1946. The Honeywood 3 was the only craft which had the speed to reach Mars, and yet if it did arrive, there's no evidence of a friendly welcome. These photographs of the surface of Mars show the bleak landscape that would have greeted these space travelers. Many researchers seeing this huge carved face on Mars wonder if it might have been carved long ago as a deliberately grim reminder left by a civilization destroying itself with war and greed or nuclear holocaust, perhaps millions of years ago. There's an old Egyptian legend of the god Marduk being sad about his home country, Mars. There are photographs of pyramids on Mars and of a ruined city the size of Los Angeles, complete with an underground grid system still emitting infrared or heat radiation. We can only speculate on these things, but it is remarkable that with satellites able to read a newspaper on Earth from various vantage points orbiting around the planet, and with almost every astronaut coming back with stories of seeing flying saucers in space or being greeted by a hundred spacecraft on what is supposed to be the first landing on the moon, that no believable explanation has been offered regarding the vast number of sightings by people of all ages and professions. There are a million in the USA alone, where military personnel are trained to debunk sightings and NASA curiously publishes photographs showing UFOs, such as this one. Whilst it makes little sense for armament manufacturers to create hundreds of thousands of nuclear bombs, enough to extinguish all life on this planet many, many times, there is likely to be more to this puzzle and it may be one of the many vitally important realities which are kept secret by the powerful few. These are official NASA photographs. Exactly what is pictured remains uncertain. It is, however, worth mentioning a report in the highly regarded Australian magazine Nexus that a Russian spacecraft photographing Mars ceased transmission in the presence of a huge UFO.
Perhaps the Americans and Russians are preparing their Star Wars capabilities for an invader from another planet. Or perhaps we are being used as a manufacturing base for deadly toys to be delivered to some distant intergalactic war game. Every ancient civilization has stories of space travelers in fiery chariots from the sky. These pictures show the legend of Marduk. Legends of Marduk and other space gods from the past usually include predictions that they will return. We're still left to guess whether the UFOs seen so often are evidence of visitors from outer space or examples of advanced anti-gravity craft made secretly on Earth in great numbers. Whatever the truth of these things is, it may be time to find a new system of planetary management, where love is the currency and money and time are only rated brief mentions in history books. <laughs>